Welcome back to another episode of House Flipper with me, your host, Chesia. Today, we're going to do a house that is uh, called the Semi-Detached House. It was part of HGTV. And here are some before pictures. I wasn't actually going to film this, so I didn't do a before walkthrough. So we're just going to kind of look at some of the before pictures um, that are here on the uh, browser of the computer. And basically what it was is it was a duplex divided in half. It was two uh, semi-detached or two houses. So these are the before pictures. And let's go ahead and go to the house now because it is finished. And I changed it and put it into a single family home. So it's a little different. So here we are at the entrance to the home. Uh, I did reside it, uh, got rid of the pink and made it into a blue. I think it uh, looks a lot nicer. Uh, redid all of the front here. I did leave these uh, flower boxes in the front because I think that looked kind of nice, but I did make my columns more of a white stone to go with the house. Um, and then I just kind of put a little divider there because I do have some stuff in the backyard, but just kind of finished off this area here. I did replace all the doors and windows so that the windows kind of went with the rooms because I emptied, gutted the entire thing. I took all the walls down in the entire house um, and gutted it and put it back together. So we'll just walk down here, kind of finish showing the outside here. I put a pool in here, which I think is kind of cool. Um, used a couple of the workshop items to uh, give just the ladder for the pool and the handles to climb out of the pool there. So I thought that was just a nice use of that space and it fit in there uh, perfectly. So, and then on this side, we have the garage here and it's just kind of plain. I put a shelf in and added a motorcycle, but I didn't do much on this side. And if we go over to the other side of the garage, couldn't take the walls down in between the two or I would have made it into a two car garage. Um, you got a nice little sitting area right here. But I turned this side of the garage into a home gym. So I've got some towels and some workout equipment, mirror. So let's turn this into a home gym. And then we can see the rest of this here on the side here. Got our seating area by the pool. And of course the seating back here. And then we've got the place for eating. So we've got your grill and a little chill area over there while you can sit while read a book or do whatever while you're grilling. So that is this side. Just threw uh, some plants there in the back. I didn't over the top this one, kind of like I have in the past um, episodes, but because um, I was really trying to do it quick and flip it, but it turned out nicely enough that I really kind of want to video it. So let's go back to the front door. And as we enter the front door here, you can see that I really opened this up. Um, this is a big open floor plan now where it had a wall right down the middle. It is now all opened up. You've got your living area that you walk into here from the front door. Comfy little living area. And you've got your kitchen. It's kind of a little bit split, but it does work. And you get your stove and cook stuff on one side and your sink on the other. And the refrigerator there. And then, of course, the dining here. So nice big area for dining, kitchen. There's a little bit of wasted space here in the middle. I thought about putting an island in, but there really wasn't a ton of room. And I didn't want it, like, sticking out from the back of the couch. So I left this. And then here to our left, this is our office. I'm going to just kind of come over here. This also goes outside, so you could come in from an outside if you were ha meeting with customers or doing something where you were needed to meet from the outside or have some come into your office from the outside. 
So this is the office area. Dual monitors, computer, everything cool, right? All right, and next door we have a half bath. So we just have the uh, sinks and uh, the toilet in here. It's kind of a half bath. We've got a picture on the wall there. Plant. In this bathroom. Little window up there. So those are those two rooms on that side. So you got the bath and you've got the office area coming off from here. That could actually be, you know, like another bedroom as well. So back here, I've got two bedrooms with a bath in the middle, uh, kind of a Jack and Jill situation. This one happens to be what I would consider the master. I'm going to just kind of walk in here and pan around a little bit. So did it with the black and white. I'm really digging those colors. So I'll walk back over here and kind of pan this way a little bit. You can see the whole room. And then, of course, we have an adjoining bathroom here. Uh, this bathroom has a tub on this side. And then we have the sink and the toilet on this side of this adjoining bathroom. And of course, that goes out into the main area of the house as well. So you wouldn't have to walk through the bedrooms to get to the bathroom. And then lastly, this bedroom right here is kind of more of a, I wouldn't really call it a kid's room, but it's not necessarily an adult room. Got much more colorful. A couple of cutesy little things that kids or maybe a teenager even might like. I'll call this my granddaughter's room. So... I think it turned out good. I do like the colors. Uh, blended really well with the paint in this, uh, this wallpaper or panel. So that is the house. Let's go back out front here. So let's take a look at these before pictures. We've got a couple of the exterior. And then just a couple of the interior pictures from the before. Really a lot of change. And let's go ahead and see what we can sell this place for. I'm going to go ahead and submit the garden. We're going to do American because it has a pool. $2,500. is pretty good. It's not great, but it's not bad. And let's go ahead and put it up for auction and see what it could get here. So I paid $135,000 for it. It had about $3,200 renovation costs, bought about almost $38,000 in furniture, sold about another $11,000 in furniture. So let's see what we got here. Actually, not bad at all. The Gentart family would like to offer $172,593 which is a profit of about 46000 So that's not bad at all. Um, more than what I thought I was going to get out of it. Uh, so that's pretty great. And actually, I think I'm just going to accept the offer. So we're going to photograph the uh, apartment and how much has changed. actually photograph the garages. <laughs> Interesting. That's a good picture. Thanks for joining me on another episode of House Flipper. I hope you'll check out my YouTube channel and some of my other great house flips. And thanks for joining me and you guys have a great day. See you next time.